Hey everyone, David here from The Five and Dime, and I'm back to working on this canvas. So a recap for anyone who may have missed the original video. This was a 48 by 48 canvas that is really not pretty at all. So I came in with Slick Stick and gave it a coat, let it dry a couple of hours, then gave it a second coat. After that dried overnight, I came in and I have a custom mix that I created using the Silk Mineral Paint Oyster and Umber, and I gave the whole canvas a coat of that as a base. Next, I'm using the long wall panel from Posh Chalk Interiors, and this stencil was done using the grunge gray wax as well as the white wax in order to lay the pattern down. Now I'm using the Posh Chalk Interior Stencil Be Poshative, and I'm using patinas in order to get my stencil in place. I love using patinas and waxes for stencils. In fact, I almost never use paint when I'm stenciling. I just find it messy, and it's, it's messy because I'm not very good at it. So... I love the fact that the consistency of the patinas and waxes actually works beautifully. You still get a long lasting effect and I don't get any seepage underneath the stencil and you just get a brilliant, crisp, clean, clean line every time. I'm using the Posh Chalk Patinas in Royal Gold and every now and then I would do one in copper as well. And to use these is very simple. As you can see, I'm just using an artist brush. I do offload or tap off the uh, excess to make sure that I don't have a, too much on there. Again, similar to paint, you don't want any seepage underneath, but it did work out really well. I had very crisp lines throughout. The great thing about patinas is that once you have it down, there's no need to seal. So this piece really has a lot of different dimensions to it. It has your base color of that custom mix of oyster and umber, then the long wall panel by Posh Chalk using Best Dang Waxes by Dixie Bell in gray, as well as white, and then the royal gold and the copper patina. Because this is a canvas that's going to hang on a wall, actually, I think I'm going to be using it as a bit of a staging prop as well. I'm not worrying about sealing it. So the Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint does have a built-in primer, built-in sealer. The wax, I let cure for a couple days. In fact, it cured for about a week before I started doing my stencil, so I didn't have anything rubbing off on that. And with the patinas, once you put it down, it has a built-in sealer. There's no need to come in and seal as well. So here is the end result so far. What I love about the patina is that they do have that metallic shimmer to them and really stand out against the flatness of the rest of the canvas. So you can see I've got a very multi-layer process going. I'm not sure if more needs to be added or not. Stay tuned to find out. Ciao for now.